Hey there YouTube, this is Kristen and uh, I'm just coming back from the uh, Nikki Ergus um, hearing in Wharton. Uh, several things, uh, there were several motions and um, the hearing started around 10 this morning. Um, the uh, Both Nikki Ergus and um, the other side's lawyers agreed that Simona Longoria, um, Thomas Aragus's mother, would be um, the um, executor um, of the estate. Um, and what that means is that <clears throat> the estate consisting of what little money they had, um, which was very little, and um, I think a, a car, uh, no, a truck and, um, you know, some various personal belongings, um, that she would be executor of, of that. Now, that doesn't have any effect on, um, I mean, she's not going to be executor of the um, widow benefits or the kids benefits or anything like that. That's different than what she's executor of. Um, Let's see. The death certificate will be released. Oh, and, and this was interesting. That Nikki Aragusa's side, side uh, had decided not to move on um, having Frank Mann removed as counsel. Um, yes, he's still under investigation, but they decided that it's better for him to be on the case. Chad Ellis had um, submitted the paperwork to have uh, Simona Longoria appointed as executor. There was some there was some question about the language. Um, there was a piece of the uh, decree that uh, basically said that uh, the allegations that the court had found the allegations that um, Simona had brought before the court were true, which could have been interpreted as that uh, the court had decided that um, Nikki and Thomas were not in fact married. Um, Nikki Aragusa's lawyer noted that, objected to that, that uh, that language was taken out uh, Nikki Aragusa's side uh, had been working with the lawyers um, on uh, the other side to ensure that any of the money that should go to the kids is released as soon as possible. So in other words, Nikki Aragusa's side is encouraging the 100 Club and uh, any of the any of the benefits that should go to the kids uh, that that should go to the kids immediately um, instead of being held up in court uh, while they decide uh, about the widow's benefits. So basically, uh, the, the two sides saying to the judge that this is what both sides want. So that was interesting. Now, what was interesting to me is uh, I got to meet Ed Birdwell which was really cool actually. Um, after the hearing he came up to me and we started talking and he said something about um, he was talking about the ass hat video which was actually you know kind of funny we we laughed about that a little bit um, and um, I asked him you know because this is a really a landmark case in some respects and um, we have the archive here and uh, it's important to have um, documents and uh, things from people who are associated with this case preserved. Um, so I asked him to give me his autograph um, and so here it is and so that's for the archive. And that was really really cool of him to do. I'll tell you what, that really was. Um, <clears throat> I went up to Frank Mann and asked him that and he kind of looked at me like a deer caught in the headlights, like, what? 
And they was like, no, 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 and like walked away. <laughs> and uh, Chad Ellis, his reaction to my question, would you please sign this paper uh, so that it could go into the archive, he looked at me as if I asked if I could kiss him on the face. His it just horrified, like, <gasps> it was, <laughs> it was really, it was really priceless, actually. Um, that was, uh, that was actually quite funny. Gosh, it, it, it's, it would be really difficult for me to um, do a video on Ed now, <laughs> because he was just such a cool dude, you know, while we were talking. And I got to shake his hand outside court, which was really cool, actually. Several important things were decided in court today, um, and um, it looks like the kids will get uh, start getting some financial assistance at ASAP. Um, and that's an effort, a cooperative effort between Nikki's lawyers and the other side's lawyers. Um, you know, they're both working together with the various insurance companies to get them to agree that, you know, any of the widow's benefits they can hold on to while we go through the court proceedings, but the, the kids, the stuff that would go to the kids, that that needs to be released ASAP. So that's actually really cool. We're able to film a lot of the press conference that happened after the, um, after the hearing, which was cool. Um, so that I'll, I'll upload that stuff so that y'all can hear what Frank Mann and Ed, Ed Burwell had to say, um, and um, also what Nikki's side had to say. I, I want to thank Mark with Resurrection MCC and Laura from um, Grace Lutheran uh, for being there today. Uh, that was really cool. And uh, so we'll probably be looking at having discovery done by the end of the year. It's going to be a little while before the next hearing. Peace.